Welcome back to Dana's Health Journey. Hope everyone's having a great day. Um, I'm going to bring you guys along with me and do some cooking. I have a kiddo that has been begging for some homemade chicken pot pie for probably two months. And it has been so crazy and hectic that this mama has not had time to make it <laughs> chicken pot pie. Um, he tickled me because I said something about it the other day and I was going to try to do it today. And he was so excited. So anyway, um, I'm going to bring you along for part of it. Um, it's, it's a long day long, it seems like process. So I uh, do it in several steps. We cook the chick or I say we, I cook the chicken. Then you have to let that cool. And if you're cooking it on the bone, you have to debone it. I usually use chicken breast if I possibly can and have some. Um, saves a little bit of time. And then I cook all my veggies, peel them and chop them and cook them. And then there's a soup mixture that I make to like a brothy soup mixture that I use. And then also I make homemade crust. Um, so it's like I say, it takes a long time. So during all this icy, cold, snowy weather, I've got some free time. So anyway, hope you will come along with me while I'm making some chicken pot pie. Hey guys, I am making one of my kiddos favorites. It's a chicken pot pie. And I have, I use just breast today. It's better if you can use thighs or something with skin on it. It makes your broth a lot richer. But um, this is what I use today. So I have some chicken broth that I'm going to add as well. Here's all my veggies. It is the potatoes and onions and English peas and carrots and all that good stuff. This is where I have chicken broth, flour, um, butter, and fixing to add some soup in with it. And then I cook that in the microwave for about hmm, probably seven or eight minutes. I've already cooked it for five. I'm gonna add the soup and finish that off. And then over here, I've got my dough made to make my crust. Um, and there's some more back here. I make a top and a bottom crust. This one might make two pot pies. My family can finish one off tonight for supper, so it'd be nice to have some for tomorrow as well. I kind of use the bottom of my pan to measure the size that I need. And so there is the bottom layer. And I will um, do my veggies and my chicken and then pour the soup mixture over and then I'll be working on my top crust over here. like it measures it out just perfect when you use the bottom these are a little bit different sizes so anyway that's the bottoms for those two okay guys i added my soup and salt and pepper to this so i'm gonna put it back in the microwave for about three more minutes and let that get all good and hot and um that was my butter flour and chicken broth and i had heated that prior to adding salt pepper and cream of chicken soup. Some people would like cream of mushroom better, so either one would be fine. But since it's a chicken pot pie, we're using cream of chicken. Okay, we're gonna split the chicken and do half on one, half on the other. And smooth it out. Next. The veggies, you can see that, I think. I'm just gonna, y'all okay, can see, I'm gonna try to get most of the juice out. Just kind of level it off a little bit. And put some over here on this one, make sure we kind of got it even. I think this pan is actually a little bit bigger than the other one, so I'm gonna add a little more on this one. Now it's time for the gravy mixture, the soupy mixture. I'm gonna stir that up real good. I told you guys I popped it back in the microwave for a few more minutes. Smells so good. It has enough flour in it that it thickens it up. Let's say do about half and half. 
over here. I think I'm gripping, making a mess too. And every little bit. It's all yummy. That looks about even. I'm going to add a tiny bit more salt and pepper because I did salt my chicken when it was cooking. I'm going to do a little. And I love pepper. So I usually add quite a bit more pepper. I'm going to go work on my crust. All right, guys. I am fixing to try and put my crust on here. I've got it doubled in half here. Let's see. You can stick them in the fridge and they do better, but it's okay. Can y'all see that? And then I'm going to vent it. Always vent the top just so that it doesn't poof way up. I can see that, I think. But anyway, it could have stood to have been just a tiny bit longer on the ends, but it will be just fine. It'll expand a little bit while it's cooking, so... Okay, guys, I'm working on this crust, fixing to try to lay it up there. Okay, here we go. Just try to get the middle in where the middle goes. And then go out from there. I've got some little pieces I'm going to put in my corners where I need some more. This is just little pieces that I had trimmed off. We'll just fill in the gaps here. That way everybody will get a crust. I got one more little one. There we go. Okay, let's vent it. Kind of make a little star. There we go. Get the oven warmed up and we're ready. We are going to cook it at 375 for anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. Um, it's just going to start browning. Everything inside's done. So once it starts browning, it'll be ready. See my flour? <laughs> um, and if these are frozen, because a lot of times I'll make them and take them to different people. My parents are different ones. And if they want to freeze them, they can. And just add like 15 to 20 minutes on to the cook time. Um, if you want to, you can start it out a little lower and go from there. But anyway. Okay, guys. Just took them out of the oven. You can see I'm still bubbling around the edges. As you can see where it vents, it kind of comes through. This one didn't. We don't think so. All right, guys, I have a little man that's just ready to go. So let's go ahead and see if we can. I think it really needs to cool off before we try to dip because it's going to be so juicy. Be sure and get some of that oh, bottom crust we're losing. Try to get some of that bottom. Look how good that looks, guys. Let me get all that crust out. And until it kind of sets up, it's like super runny and juicy like that. It smells so good.